Hello everyone, welcome to Urbanscape Gardening and in this episode we will look at the rough horsetail or scientifically called Equisetum hymale. This is wrongly termed as the water bamboo and the most distinct feature of this plant is that it can grow both in soil and water. This is primarily grown as an ornamental plant. This is an annual plant that can be deciduous in colder countries. They have a fibrous root system with long green shoots that are hollow inside. The nodes of the shoots have these whorled branches that are called microfills that are modified leaves that partially performs the task of photosynthesis. However, the green shoots perform the primary photosynthetic functions. The plant is kind of rough to touch because of the presence of silica. They are also used as utensil scrubs in certain parts of the world and are used to polish surfaces. These are prehistoric plants and just like ferns, they reproduce through spores. So you would not see this bloom and the shoots are divided into two parts. One is sterile and the other is fertile. And the fertile one bears such conical structures at the tip called strobili that releases spores. They grow in marshy areas in the wild and are great at preventing soil erosion. This does contain alkaloids that if consumed excessively can be harmful. Animals anyway won't eat this because of its rough texture and bitter taste. Now let's look at some of its care tips. Sunlight. This can do well in both full and part sun. Growing media. This can grow in all kinds of soil and even in water. This can do well in heavy clay soil and I've grown this in my pond in this container filled with some soil. I've noticed that when you grow this only in soil, the shoots remain green from head to toe but in water, the bottom parts become black more quickly. Watering. If you're growing this in soil, you'd have to water this every day since it is water hungry. Fertilizing. This is a survivor and it does not need too much of mollycoddling for it to thrive. You just have to add compost maybe once in three months and that would do. In the pond, of course, the plant will get its nutrients from fish waste and other organic matter. Diseases and pests. I have thus far seen no pests or diseases affecting this plant. Invasiveness. Please note that like the bamboo, these also can become invasive if not grown in a controlled environment. And you can see here that it's grown through the lawn. So when you grow this in the ground, grow it either in a planter box or confine it in a pot or create barriers. So I had reported this in this container a few months ago and you can see the roots up close. They almost look very fabric-like. And now you can see how it has grown in this container along with this sweet potato wine. Propagation. They can easily be propagated using stem cuttings too. You don't have to wait for the spores to disperse. You can take a cutting by snipping a part of the stem like this just few inches below one of these nodes. Stick it in water or in soil or in soil submerged in water like I've done here. And in a matter of weeks, you'll see new shoots. The dragonflies love them and use them as their helipads. So folks, if you're looking to add some height in your garden, then this bamboo-like amphibious plant is the right choice for your terrestrial and water gardens alike. And with this, we've come to the end of yet another episode of Urbanscape Gardening. And I really hope you enjoyed this particular episode on the rough hostel. Additionally, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook. The links are given below. And always remember, to grow slow is to grow well. Thank you for watching. And until we meet again, a very warm goodbye.